Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of On Fire Fish in Hawaii. This is a fish and dive show made just for you. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you're already a subscriber, if you could do me a favor, just hit that thumbs up. It's like sending me a shaka. So on this episode, um, I'm actually gonna go with Jen. We're gonna try to go for some eel, but more importantly, I'm gonna show you how to make Lomi O Eel. It's one of my favorite recipes, fav one of my favorite ways to eat oil. It's lomi oil. It's basically a great poke. It is super good. And make sure you guys watch all the way to the end because I have a catch and cook and I also have some bloopers, but more, the, you remember the uh, anchor I found when I was diving? We found the owner. So thank you on Fire Fishing family. I guess another fan saw it, that was their friend and I guess he also watches the show and they contacted me and we got the anchor back to his right owner. So spread the aloha guys. So here we go. <laughs> Dude, suck. All right, here we go. No, 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 no. No, get us in your All right, we're here with Jen. I don't know if you remember from, from the last time from wheel fishing. We're going to try it again. But um, I guess <laughs> <laughs> you guys, she got a new job. So she's here visiting before she starts her new job. Yep. Right? Yes. No, for Nurse practitioner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so she can forget subscribe me stuff. I don't know. <laughs> but all right. Uh, ho hopefully we catch something. So wish us luck. Subscribe Tylenol. <laughs> and for the good. headache. For the headache I'm gonna get. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Pretty much. Okay. Let's cool. go. Holo holo. Hanapa fish on. Yes, uh, here we go, guys. Let's go get this one. Yes, uh, what an unbelievable catch. I'm so stoked. But unfortunately, I wasn't be able to catch all the ones that Jen caught, but congratulations on your fish, Jen, and also congratulations on your new job. Okay, guys. Okay, guys, so real quick, um, my order of aku eye lures just came in. It's soft, soft baits. So, as a thank you to you guys and also to support local, I'm having a free giveaway. So kind of no strings attached, it's basically, but if you could do me a favor and if you could just check out uh, Aku Eye Lures, either the Instagram or the Facebook page and just put, hey, you seen them on, on Fire Fishing Hawaii. That'll help me out, help him out. So it'd be super cool, you know what I mean? And share this. So uh, um, all you have to do is just, um, I'm gonna make it simple. Just put Aloha and Actually, you know what? Just put maybe which color you want and guess a number between 1 and 50. Whoever's the closest will win it next week or I'll put it in the comments. Yep, so I even bought these. So this is the sardine paddle type. Looks super cool. And uh, as you can see, he makes your standard um, grub style, his taco style, and also the serpentine style that he calls Momo. So yeah just put which color you want and uh, or what you guys want up here and i'll give a free giveaway so just you know let me know if you want the uv light or sticker or whatever just let me know uh aloha and number one two fifty all right coming up next we are having an unbelievable catch and cook learning how to make lomi o eel with simple ingredients like ogo shrimp for that umami and flavor Maui onions for that texture and crunch and of course 
vine ripened tomatoes and homegrown green onions for that nice bright color. All right, let's get started. All right guys, so I'm gonna make lo mio so I already cut off the head. I'm gonna just split it down the middle on both sides, scrape the meat. But the ingredients are pretty simple. You can actually put nothing at all or whatever you want inside. I'm gonna use today is basically Maui sweet onion. Just gonna dice this up, dice tomatoes, green onion. And if you want, you can add this optional is like limu kohu or limu. This is ogo and then uh, I always put dried shrimp. It really gives it that umami, that little different flavor, but you can add opihi, um, anything else like that, like you kukui nut, all that stuff. And of course, I like to use Hawaiian salt. And I like to use the alai salt, which is the red salt dried in clay bed. So it has that kind of slightly sweeter flavor to me. Um, we add a little bit of this and water and we'll be all set. All right, let me just cut this up. So actually, um, for cleaning the fish, um, I used to do it a different way. I used to leave the head on, only scale the back, fillet the sides, and then like this, and I'll just scrape it. But um, I kind of saw somebody else do this where they cut off the head, break it off, and the guts come with it. And I scale the whole fish because what happens is I'm gonna use the skins for uh, corner crab. As you always see me go, um, the Cap Johnson, right? So I save all the oil skins for that. So, and then you see how like has all the meat. So, kind of like all you do is scrape it. It's kind of funny, like this top portion kind of comes this way, and all the rest go the other way. So, you just scrape it, super easy. And then I don't know with the head off, I think I get more meat for some reason. But yeah, it should look just like that. No bones, perfect. So you continue to scrape the meat both sides. Okay, so all I did was add a little bit of water just to thin it out just a little bit because it's so thick. And that way I can feel for the bones. Just make sure there's no bones in here or anything like that. What I'm gonna do is just gonna add a little bit of ogle. That might be a lot, so we'll start with that. A um, little bit green onions, tomatoes, and onions, sweet onions. Actually, a little bit more tomatoes. Okay. Give that a good mix. Make sure we got enough. Now we're gonna add the salt last. Cause once you add the salt, it'll really kind of thicken up. So I might have to add a little bit more water. And I'm gonna add actually my shrimp too. All my dried shrimp. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, add a little bit more water. Just to incorporate it together. So right now you can see it's a little bit soft. So I'm gonna add some alai salt to this. So, curator of Hawaiian alai salt. I don't know, for this much, it looks about is that a teaspoon, tablespoon. Probably a tablespoon, to be honest. And you'll be, you'll be surprised, and once you add the salt, it's gonna really start to tighten up. It's already starting to thicken up, get pretty hard. <laughs> it's just a little bit more salt, though. Cause this is a poke, so you want to be a little bit on the salty side. Okay. Of course, mom. Yeah. Alright, you can do a taste test here, okay? Okay. How is it? Need some salt? I just need my shrimp. I'm sure don't we eat all of it, okay? That's good. Yo, screen. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. Hmm. 
Oh, no. Good. Yeah, after after, after you kind of um, set, it's even better, right? When the yeah. salt melts inside, mm -hmm. it's almost better. You make it like the night before, and it kind of just melts and it comes better. You guys want some? Here you go. Ooh. All right, guys, we're here with Tom. Uh, found the owner of the anchor. <laughs> I guess it's small community, so I'm glad, I'm glad you guys are okay. So that's yeah. the main thing, right? Main so, thing. I appreciate right it. On. Thank you, sir. Yeah, right on, man. Thanks. Hey, thank you guys again for watching another episode of On Fire Fishing Hawaii. Until next time, take care of yourself and take care of others. Catch you on the next one. <laughs> no, it's not a video. Yeah, so you just gotta look there. No. Yeah. No. Where? <laughs> How do you look? Look that there. Uh, All right. Do I have to have a straight face? Yeah. I don't look pretty today, though. Sorry. I don't. All right. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode no. of On Fire Fishing. <laughs> So Do this is uh, Jen. Uh, you've probably seen on the last one. Um, so what, what's new since then? I got a job. Finally. <laughs> yeah, right now. Someone so, took me. In. Yeah. So what are you now? A nurse practitioner. Yes, sir. So Filipino parents are proud. <laughs> they she thought it's the it. same as a nurse. What's the difference? <laughs> That's what my dad said. All right. Well, she makes more money, so. A dollar more. I expect better gifts. <laughs> no, no, no. All right. So wish us luck.